Hey everyone, it's Cindy here, founder of Yoga Body Elements, and I'm here today to share with you another daily essential or daily ritual that became a daily essential. And today's topic is Reiki. Reiki, what is Reiki? It was introduced to me as a life force energy that we all have access to. And once you go through the attunement process, you start to channel and work with the energy. And for me, growing up, no one around me that I knew of was working with this energy called Reiki. And I'm sure some way, Reiki, I was seeking something like Reiki, um, but I feel like Reiki found me and the perfect timing. Um, it was right after massage school and I had you know, started to open my body up in different ways and, and, and work my body in different ways than I had as a dancer. And in some ways it felt like it was integrating, but there was a missing piece. And eventually Reiki practitioners started showing up in my life and I got to have conversations with them and tell them what I was experiencing and seeing and feeling. And they were able to share with me a little bit more about what that was and go into a little more in-depth conversation with me, which felt really great for the next steps I was going in my life. But I still hadn't had a Reiki attunement. And eventually, one of those Energy Works practitioners said, well, my friend is holding a Reiki training, you should go. And so even though I was nervous, even though I was uncertain what was gonna happen, even though I was I was concerned that it, how, how much could it change my life, right? I went anyways, and it was a very pleasant and eye-opening and expansive experience. And it was a very gentle experience for me. And in Reiki 1, we learned about our energy and the chakras and how to how to work with the energy and this was back in 2010 for me when I was introduced to Reiki. We also learned about how to run a Reiki session for yourself. So with Reiki it starts with you getting your energy set, getting your energy empowered so that you're able to share this energy with others. And that's something that I really respect about the Reiki practice is really coming back to yourself so that you can support others. And it was within a year that I had completed my Reiki trainings all the way up to teacher level. Uh, but it wasn't until about three years later that I really started to promote that I was training people in Reiki. And through that time, other businesses had reached out to me or businesses that I'd been working with brought me in to, to work with their students or their staff or their clients, some, some corporations, some nurses, um, some psychologists, and um, some teacher training, yoga teacher training groups. And one thing that um, people noticed uh, with Reiki, once I started getting attuned to it, people said that they always felt energy coming from me, but they couldn't always uh, explain it and that it always felt good. And um, my students and my clients at that time noticed a difference in my energy. My hands got warmer and it felt like there was more energy coming out of them. So that felt like a really good thing and they shared it as a very positive thing for them. And it wasn't until about five years into being attuned to Reiki did I actually really start to dedicate myself to a daily practice. And I tried different things. I tried giving myself a Reiki session in the morning, the afternoon, and the evening. And what I found was I don't really like to jump out of bed. I like to really ease into the day very gently. And so I found giving myself a Reiki session in the morning very, very supportive. So I wake up, I do some breathing, and then I start to run the energy. And so the way the Reiki session works, whether you're giving your session to yourself or if you become a practitioner, is you, you, know, you call in the Reiki, uh, you ask for guidance, and then you start to run the energy from the top of your head all the way down to your feet. And so that's what I do. 
And I find it to be very centering, very gentle to move into my day, very supportive for my uh, nervous system. And it's something that has become an essential every morning. Every morning I give myself a 10 to 20 minute self-care Reiki session. And I, if I miss a day, I really, really notice it. So I just don't miss a day. And so that's something for me that became a ritual that became an essential. And for any of you that are still watching this video, and it's uh, 2023 when I'm sharing this video, I am offering in-person and online trainings in Reiki 1, uh, Reiki 1 and Reiki 2 online, and Reiki 1 through teacher level in person. So feel free to reach out to me. Um, October 23 and November 2023, I'm offering in-person trainings, so you can send me a message or go to the Yoga Body Elements website um, and or social pages and see when we're offering our trainings. And it's been a true honor to be able to share this practice with others and give them this supportive practice that is very gentle, that is non-invasive, and that um, can really be life-changing and supportive in many, many ways, uh, more than one could expect. So thank you for letting me share a little bit more with you about Reiki. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to have this conversation with you. And stay tuned for more daily rituals that became daily essentials for me on this journey for whole through whole body wellness. Bye for now.